Hey guys, and welcome back for another video. So today's video features a man who is actually looking for a husband. And it's not what you think, so let's go ahead and hear what he's got to say before we make any rash judgments, shall we? Okay, so I've decided I'm looking for a husband. Now hear me out, hear me out. I'm looking for a straight man that would like to get married to another straight man. You can date any woman you want to, you can have many girls you want to. I don't care. I'll never bitch about it. I don't care. I just want a joint, two-income household. Honestly, I'll remodel the house. I'll make it have two master bedrooms. I don't care. And as far as I'm concerned, you, you can have the master bedroom now. I'll remodel the house and then take it when it's done because we'll have two incomes. We can afford it. A couple things would be nice. It'd be nice if you like had a boat. You know, that'd be cool. But if not, don't care. We'll buy one. You and I, buddy. You and I. We will buy one together. We will have some nice shit. That's what we're going to do. Guess what? Holidays roll around. You don't have to buy me anything. Nothing. Not for my birthday. Not for Valentine's. Christmas. Nothing. Let's just go have a couple beers. Doesn't that sound nice? Doesn't that sound really, really nice? No bitching. No complaining. Holidays roll around. Let's go get a couple beers. You know? You, you, anything. Anything. You, you don't have a motorcycle? You could ride one of mine. I don't care. We'll go get you one. We can afford it. It'd be nice if you cleaned up around the house. That'd be cool. But you know what? Don't care. We can get a maid. We can afford it. We'll pay a little extra. Have her clean topless. Wouldn't that be nice? That'd be nice. Guess what? No bitching. Don't care. You won't care. I won't care. It would be nice. It'd be nice to have some nice things and not have to deal with all the shit that goes along with a normal marriage. I'm okay with that. I just want the tax benefits. I want the two income household and none of the problems that come along with marrying someone of the opposite sex. You can, like I said, date whoever you want to, as many as many as you want to. You bring them over, guess what? Ow. High five. Good for you. She's a pretty girl. Guess what? Ow. High five. She's an ugly girl. Don't kill. Don't care. Kill's a kill. That's the way it works out. Don't care what you do. I don't. Stay out all night long. Drunk as shit. Don't care. Come home whenever you want to. Don't care. Don't come home. Don't care. Don't care. I'm not going to burn your stuff. I'm not going to get jealous. I'm not going to mess with anything. Just, it's just going to be nice, isn't it? Doesn't, now that you hear me out a little bit, doesn't that sound like, well, you know what? He's got a pretty damn good point. You want to you wash car parts in the dishwasher? Don't give a shit. Don't care. I will understand that. But like, you know what? They got to get clean. You got to put them on. You gotta, it's got to be right before you put that motor back together. Guess what? I'll help you. You know what? I'll do the weed eating. You do the mowing or vice versa. Don't care. Most of the time, I have to do all of it. All of it. Both as a man, we know we have to do all that shit. Guess what? We'll split it. We'll split it. Or we'll hire a lawn service. We can afford it now. Doesn't that sound nice? You're starting to come around to my side of this, aren't you? Anyways, very soon I got to get my affairs in order. And I'm going to be looking for a husband. So I'll put a post out there. Get with me. Okay. Now, obviously, he's joking around, you guys. He's trying to make a couple of different points. Number one. He's trying to make a point that he's definitely probably a part of the MGTOW movement where guys are getting sick of women basically being assholes and really hard to get along with in marriage and being all difficult. And the second point that he's trying to make is that it may be financially better for him to get with a guy than it would be a woman because a man is going to be more structured and geared towards financial goals versus just spending money kind of frivolously on things that he or she may desire. Women tend to impulse buy and they emotional buy and spend money based on a lot of different things. And not all of them are positive. And not all of them are going to help you build a future. Just the fact that men typically are more structured, they're more logistical in their thinking, they tend to analyze things in, like I said, a more logical way. And the best part is no bitching and no complaining. How many of us women are so guilty of that? Nagging our man about this, nagging our man about that. Some women have an attitude and they don't even really have a valid reason. They're mad because the guy didn't look at them the right way, answer a question the right way, take the garbage out at the right time that she thought that he should. I mean, there's a lot that goes on with relationships with between men and women. It makes it difficult sometimes. So you do have a lot of men that are just getting tired of it. Some are going overseas. Some are choosing to just sleep with women and not be in relationships at all because it's just not mutually beneficial for a man. And what I'm taking from this video is that women, we need to wake up. We need to wake up before all men are going to be like this, where they just get together and make financial moves and investments together and then just treat us like we're, we're here for parties and we're here for sex. We got to be careful. We got to be careful what we're doing in our relationships and we got to make sure we're showing love 
and not being selfish or hearing our partner's side and making sure that we're meeting their needs. And if a guy is saying, you know what, I want to split household duties, I want to split household finances, that's what's going to make this marriage work for me, that's what's going to make our relationship work. Otherwise, there's no benefit to me being in a relationship. I totally get it because most women, if not all, aren't going to get with a guy that doesn't have money either. So when guys are saying, you know what, we don't necessarily need a woman's money, but to have a woman that can come to the table with something is better than being with a woman who can't come to the table with anything. Ladies, make sure that you keep your bitching and your complaining to a limit so you don't end up single and alone while the man who is going to have everything and is going to be able to still have all the desires of his heart financially and still be able to have a peace at the end of the day. And women, you're just going to end up old, alone, and probably end up with a cat or two if you can't find and keep a successful relationship. Let's just call it what it is. So it's definitely something to think about, you guys, although it was a joke. At the end of the day, this was quite a serious video because in my opinion, although I'm married, it makes me want to make sure that I keep my marriage going by making sure I'm a benefit to my husband's life. All right, you guys, definitely leave me a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.